Miles is getting absolutely hammered by a rockfish. We just saw him come out. And he... oh, oh, that's a measure. nice cab. Nice here. Good job, Cole. Give me some. Let's go. It looks so right. awkward. Right um, here. You can't really let them here. He's not a keeper. He's a healthy sure, cab, though. But he is a 12, yeah, 12 inch cabazon. Only three inches. Night, that's probably 12 inch cabazon, probably around 8 to 10 ounces. Oh, jeez, got mm, sand. That might even be close to a pound coal. No, I don't think. I mm, that's. I'm. Um, I would call that a pound. He's hurting my hands. Cold, call that a pound. Okay, it's around a pound. Nice! just swam right past my feet. Okay, Miles has got a nice cab here, probably about around 12 inches, same size as mine, and really pretty colored pattern. I don't know if you can see that. The face, it's like these really nice spots. I love like his beige. eyes. His eyes are so cool. Yeah, his eyes, they're really dark, and then they have a little bit of reddish orange surrounding them. my PB. Yep. First PB rod, cap. first fish on that rod. Nice. Okay, want to throw them back in this hole with yep. the other one? There we go. See you, buddy. <laughs> you can see him right there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So happy. Okay, so right now, just caught this big eel, probably around a pound and a half, two pounds. And this guy is gonna be eating for dinner. So we'll dispatch him, gut him, and uh, show you when we cook him. This is a, how big is this guy? He's about 16 and a half inches, almost 17 inches. Okay, there's a, there's one fillet, and this is a, keep in mind my first time filleting an eel, so that is still quite a bit of meat, so pretty good. Okay, there's two, uh, Decent <laughs> eel fillets. This one's pretty good eel fillet, and then we got this little one. Uh, they're not the best. Uh, it's the first time I've ever filleted an eel. I'm not gonna waste this. I'm probably gonna use this for crab bait. So yeah, this will be put to use, and we'll eat this. So see you in the kitchen. So the first thing I did to cook this monkey-faced eel was coat my pan in butter and olive oil. So what I'm doing in this clip is I'm just rotating the pan around and covering all the surface area on the pan with the butter. The second step to cooking this eel is seasoning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over this filet and as you can see, I did not skin this one. So there's a lot of slime still in the meat and on the skin. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to salt it and what that's gonna do is it's gonna draw all the slime out of the skin and then I can wipe it off and that should help. While I'm waiting for that filet to de-slime, I'm coating a separate skinned filet with some blackened seasoning. I did not do a very good job on this filet so there's very minimal meat, but the carcass will not go to waste. We're gonna use that for crab bait in a future video and hopefully do a crab catch and cook. But yeah, just blackened seasoning. This is the final product of the meat. As you can see, it's very crispy, it's cooked well, it's not raw whatsoever, just coated in blackened seasoning and fried in that pan. And this filet, yeah, we're still waiting for it to de-slime, but in the meantime, we will do a little taste test. Okay guys, so we got the eel here and we have my brother Reese. Hi. We're gonna do the eel taste test right here, so take a little piece off. Actually, that's pretty good. That was really good. That was really good. You heard it. Monkey face is good to eat. It's a goat.